and there are two or three things that we should pay attention to. First, recognize generally that that variety selection is incredibly important. Just as important as might be to select the proper bull for your herd or whatever. Um, in my variety trial last year, there was a 37% difference in yield between the bottom yielding variety and the top yielding variety. So just by choosing the right variety, a farmer would have gotten an extra two tons of forage per acre. And so I think we need to pay attention and use variety trial data when we have it. The kind of grow, uh, varieties that we grow in Southern California and Arizona, which are fall dormancy eights through 11s, would curl up and die in places like Minnesota. So you, you don't want to grow those in places like Minnesota or Iowa, uh, where the winters are very harsh. So you have to think about the winter survival issues in the Midwest. In the Western states, I think we're, we're concerned with the yield issues and uh, producing higher yields uh, for those regions. Take a look at the uh, university field trials. We have, uh, I think it's seven trials at the University of California that are grown throughout the straight state, which uh, report uh, yield levels for a wide range of varieties that are available across the fall dormancy levels. And uh, so that's one way to take a look at that. Uh, one thing I will mention is that uh, of late uh, we have some new genetics coming along uh, with uh, the reduced lignin um, uh, Harvextra um, technology and there are some other companies that are also uh, looking for higher quality varieties that are higher in digestibility and so I think growers can really pay attention to that as a, uh, uh, as a strategy for, uh, for increasing quality and reducing the yield quality trade-off problem that we do have in alfalfa hay. There are some varieties that have enhanced nematode resistance. So if we plant the nematode resistant varieties in an infected area, we're going to get higher yield. The other thing that is coming on the market that we should pay attention to is varieties that have greater salt tolerance. So in regions where salinity is an issue, if we plant these salt tolerant varieties, we can get better yield than if we plant a conventional variety. So uh, there are a number of other traits that we can look at, but the important thing is to have an idea of what the issues are in a particular region where you are planting the alfalfa, and then try to match a variety that best addresses the needs that you have.